count four seeds. But I can't tell you how many apples are in a seed. That's right. It only takes one seed to grow a tree. That's right. And every year it flourishes more and more. That's the example that God has given me to give you guys. To sow that seed. And remember what it produces. Now if God called you in the business, which we know he does. And it's in Deuteronomy 8.18. It says, this is my covenant, my promise, that I give you the ability, it says, I give you the ability to attain wealth. Attain means more than enough. Now, in Philippians 4.19, it says, according to the grace by Christ Jesus, your needs shall be met abundantly. In Psalms 23.1, it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. God meets your needs and your wants. That's what you do as you're faithful. And, you know, that was the word that God was giving me because I've been praying. I love this man. And he, I couldn't make it. It was understandable. Man, next time, next time. And was persistent about me coming. And, and I wanted to be here. Even so, I have a long journey. What I have to do? Because I love people that are like that. And, and we should. And it's a test for me to be here. Because when I honor that, it's just whenever there's a, a, an opportunity, wherever there's revelation, there, there's elevation. See, and that's what God's doing. He's elevating. And if you will take the heart, what God has given you, not what I've given you, what God has given me to give you, and you, you'll see a turnaround quickly, God said. He's not going to pray. He's not going to pray. He's going to do it swiftly. And there's times that God, and it has to sit right with your heart. Yes. Not because I say it. Not because I'm the preacher. I'm only telling you I'm the messenger of what God said. And if we do it, he'll make it happen. That. Amen? And yes, that's what yes. exactly. You've got to be, I received that. I mean, you know, cultivate it. To it, get before God. God, I want confirmation of this. God, I want confirmation for someone that don't know this. I always tell God to give me confirmation for people who don't know me. I got strangers. You know what? I have a word for you. Oh, okay, really? How many knows that we were at a, a, at the LA Coliseum? There was over sixty thousand people. Wow. A woman followed my wife all the way from the bathroom back to where she said, "Excuse me, ma'am, but I have a word from God for you. Are you open?" Oh, I said, we had to go all the way to L.A. We had to position ourselves to get a work. See, that's what happens when you're not where you're, where you, where you're, if you're not where you're supposed to be. You miss that opportunity. That woman was so right on time. Then the woman asked my wife, what is your name? She, she, my wife said, my name's Linda. She goes, oh, my God. Look, my name's Linda, too. How ironic is that? How ironic that there's 60,000 people there, and she follows her and hits the target on the work. God don't need to know you to minister to you. Right, you just got to be positioned right. right. And when you position yourself, remember open heavens? You got to be under the open heaven. You got to be under the fountain. You got to be under the anointing. God. And that's where it happens. But God is releasing. There's no more than one man show. God is using men and women to impart. Like this brother saying, he hear any miracles. And he, that's, that should be for everybody. That's not right. just him. Everyone should be doing that. You want to see a miracle? Pray for someone that needs a miracle. You want to see a healing? Pray for someone that needs a healing. I've seen deaf ears open. I've seen cataracts. I didn't know at first. But, but let me tell you, the anointing's always been there. When I got out of prison, I was on parole still. I'm like, man, what is happening? It didn't matter who I touched. Bam, they were laid out. And then I started giving them a word. I didn't know it was word of knowledge yet, so I had to research why are these people crying? They said, only God could have told you. You ever have something you don't tell no one, just God? And then someone comes by and tells you what you told God? What's it going to do to your faith? Amen. Take it to another level. Amen. Knowing that. So I would give them the word, but then we had the mattress. And my brother-in-law, Ramon, who's the pastor here, we would bring out a king-size mattress. And I go, I'm going to start praying. And I know when I start praying, God's going to start moving. And that exactly. The year that I said, I'm going to pull out the mattress, and I know God's going to start moving. See, I spoke it into existence. In Psalms 5.3, David says, I lay my prayers at your feet early in the morning yes. and come with expectation. There's some people, they lay their prayers there, and they go and talk it down. God can't move through that. That's right. You just killed it with your mouth. That's you got to right. change your confession. That's In 2 right. Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, verse uh, 3 to 5, verse 5 says, capture your thought and bring it into obedience. What does capture your thought mean? Don't speak it. It's only a thought. The devil can't move on. He can only move on what you speak. He can't make you say it, but he can put a thought there. 
And it's up to you. To, if you speak it, you release it. You sent it forth. God has me as Jesus cursed the fig tree, the wither and died its roots. That's how the Lord tells me. You tell them that I said to curse that, to curse it, to wither and die at its roots. Because if it's for now, it'll come back and haunt you later. Remember, if you have a God, you go to your yard and just pull the weeds and break it off. If the roots are still there, what's going to happen? It still grows. When you have cancer and they do surgery and that, if they don't get the root, what happens? It grows. It still spreads. It still grows. My sister's fighting cancer right now. She's at a level four. We just prayed with her early this morning. Went to Stanford on Monday night. Found out at level four. And they say, well, she, that she didn't even be alive because God is reversing everything. I mean, also with Joshua Mills. Have you ever heard of Joshua Mills? I work with him too. He asked me and my wife to be his spiritual parents when he's in the Bay Area. He came to our church and was literally crying and said, I came to minister. Instead, I got ministered too. Because how you see me, our whole church is that way. What are you do when you run out, you see all these mini me's running around. They love Jesus. They're on fire. Even our little kids will pray for you. Even our little kids. If the little kids are in class and they hear the worship band, they'll run out of class. And they'll start dancing and grabbing a banner and swinging it. Everything. That's what God does. Thank you, Jesus. I just think we need to take this a minute. Just to see what God wants to do for you. Thank you. I'm done talking. Let's give the Lord a big clap. God wants to move. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God. Worthy, you are worthy, God. You are worthy, Father. Worthy, 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 Father. You sent me here with a message. Father, these are your sons and daughters. These are my brothers and sisters, God. I pray that they feel your presence as your word says. Where two or three come together, here you are in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I do here, God? How many journal the word? The journal. You need a journal. I hear God saying that. And and why? Because God wants to increase your faith. You see? It's in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 1 and 2, and Isaiah 30, verse 8. And 30, Jeremiah 30, verse 1 and 2 says, Get a book and write down what the Lord has spoken to you. And Isaiah 30, verse 8 says, Get a book and write down what the Lord has spoken for in due time it shall become a witness to you. And I believe that when you write it and you see it, it's going to take your faith to another level. Because in this room are movers and shakers and history yes, makers. Jesus. It's not an accident that you're that you're here. It's by divine. But I see God wanting to take this place to a whole nother level. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's you because God works through people. That's We're right. just his messenger. Who are we? We're his hands and his feet. Amen. Who are we? We're his yes. voice. We're his mouthpiece. And he flows through us. Yes. And I hear God saying that. And, and I hear God saying it because of this man's faithfulness. Of even times that there was battles and struggles. He still would be here. And he would still do this. And God honors that. And I feel like, you know... I feel like it's like in the book of Acts in chapter 10 when the angel came to Cornelius' house and said, Cornelius, your giving to the poor and to the needy has come up as a memorial before God. Praise and we need to pray over this leader right here. And, uh, and, and we need to ask, all of us need to put our hands toward him because, you know, I've seen some hard times, but I've seen him work through them. And now God wants to give him that, take him into the valley of rest. God is opening doors bigger than you can even imagine. I hear God saying that God's going to open these doors even bigger than you can imagine. And the word is in, in Ephesians 3.20. I'll do a measure more than you can even ask or imagine, says God. And God said, son, because of your faithfulness and because you would not look to the left or look to the right, you would not get ahead of me or behind me, but you learned to be on time with me, says God. That I'm going to bless you for your faithfulness. And yes, you've sown many a seed, much a seed. And God said, many that have come and left, I've put my seed in them. And it is not in vain, my son, for they're out there and they are traveling with my word in their heart. But it was here where in this place, in your meeting, was where I planted that seed. 
I see God, I see an angel of God getting gifts and putting them in people right now. Hallelujah. I see God putting it in there. And your job is to receive the gift. It comes. It says, do not neglect the gift in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Do not neglect the gift that's given you through the prophetic. And right now, God is imparting gifts in you. And if you will receive it and believe God, I can't tell you exactly what it is that your job is to get before God. In Ephesians 1.18, say, pray you may know the hope to what he called you. It's better that you go before God. Yes. When you get it, believe God for confirmation. Remember, uh, get him, put a fleece before God. Lord, I pray what you've given me. Give it to someone that doesn't know to confirm this. Because remember, when you move out, you're either going to empower people or deceive people. So you got to know what you're called yes. to do. Remember I told you, I don't move. When God wants me, he comes and gets me. What am I doing in the meantime? Training, equipping cultivating, stirring them up, getting them going. So I take teams with us, and we get them empowered. Thank you, we get Jesus. them going. Everywhere Thank we go, you, me and my wife, we, 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 we get them out of the boat. We get them out of the boat. And I hear someone here that you've been in the boat, and you got out of the boat, but you got afraid and went back into the boat. And God said, you need to get out of the boat and stay out of the boat. So I don't know who you are. You know who you are. You know, but God said, yeah, you can walk on water, on that spiritual water. God said, fear not, for I am with thee. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. Fear not, for I have empowered you, says God. And, and, and you know who you are. You're in this place. One thing God, what I love about God, he never embarrasses people. Yeah. That's right. You know, some preachers do it for like a show. and Get out there and, and, and get words over them. We don't need to do that. Oh. The bottom line is we get the message to the person that needs to hear that message. Yes. That's what we do. You know, and a lot of times when I'm in churches, they try to put a mic in my hand and I push it away. I don't need that mic. It's not their business That's when right. I'm telling this person. That's right. You, you see what I'm saying? And then when I move them that way, I see their faith go to a whole other level. Remember, that's our job, to empower. How do you know you're good when you get your predecessors that will supersede you? Now, the Bible says in Psalms 127, uh, unless the Lord build the house, you labor in vain. That's right. And then I hear God saying about a quiver. I give you a quiver with arrows, and those arrows are sons and daughters. And those arrows and sons and good leaders will shoot those arrows out, and they will hit the mark. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. Like I said, I see a lot. And with that's what I'm seeing in here. I see this is good ground. Thank you, Jesus. It's awesome. Thank you. That's right. We got to just give them thanks. Thank you, Anyone yes. here, you have a word from God? You know God? I'm in the amongst people that know know the Lord as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes. You have a word. I want you to release the word. If you have a word for somebody, feel free to go and give that individual that word. Come on. We're stepping out of our boat. We're stepping out of our comfort zone. We're getting back on the battlefield. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Father, I pray for more. Give them more, God. Yes, Give them more. Yes, Give them more. Yes, Give them more, glory, Lord. more, God. Yes, Give them more. Thank you, Father. More. Yes, more. Yes, Lord. More, yes, Lord. more, God. Let them walk in the supernatural, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you. I hear someone here that you have visions. You have dreams, and God said, yeah, that's me visiting you in those dreams. God said, I want you to write those dreams, and I want you to start praying those dreams through. Uh, and, you know, that's and it's important that you journal. When you have a dream, share the dream, because you're robbing that person. And how God showed me, there was a man in prison. He was a big old dude, and God said, I want you to go give him a word. I go, Lord, I don't even know this guy. I ain't going to do that. And the Lord wouldn't leave me alone. I said, all right. And you know this big old guy like that? He broke down crying. And I said, whoa. And he said, he goes, I've been waiting to get that word. And God said, see, you ought to rob them. How many times has God given us a word and we rob somebody? God didn't give you the word just to give you a word. He gave you a word that someone needed to hear. That's right. And we got to start releasing those words. It's between them and God as long as you do your part. What am I saying? I'm saying God's empowered you to go. I hear him say, go, go, yes. go, yes. go. Speak it. Whether they receive it or not, doesn't matter. As long as you're obedient to God. Amen? Amen. Good word. How many does that bear witness to you? Amen. 
behind you. I want to pray because the word says. If you have a business card, we'll put it. We'll write your name on the paper. And then we're, we're all going to be involved in this. Amen. We're going to get all the names and write them. And we're going to put them together. And we're all going to put our faith over this. And believe God. For God to break it open. Amen. Christy. Amen. We're going to believe God to break it open for you. prosper their businesses, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you. Teddy, go to Deuteronomy. So in Deuteronomy 8, 8. Let me read the church. Sure. 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 One point that this, this, this rolling over in my heart and my mind. And uh, maybe some of you can help me with this. What's that scripture that says the, the race is not to the, the swift or something or to the... But it's, but it's to the diligent. I, I don't know, something like that. But the race... You guys remember that? I'm not making no one else can help you on it. Oh. Not to the slothful, but to the diligent. Um, something like that. And to the, to the completion of the end or something to that effect. But anyway, what, what the Lord is just really impressing upon me is uh, just, being, just being diligent, consistent, and steadfast. Yes. You know, uh, yes. so he quoted that scripture, if you be willing and obedient, you know, uh, you shall eat the good of the land. Maybe you said that, Alan. But if you be willing and obedient... And, a, and, a, and a just, just the Lord is just saying, be, be faithful. He that is faithful, you know, and that which is least, will be faithful also in the greater. Yes. I just sense the Lord just, just admonishing us to just, yeah. just keep, just keep plowing, just keep being steadfast, yes. because you will reap in due season if you, Woo! if you faint not. I'm fired up. Hallelujah! I receive it. <laughs> There's two words that I want to read. One of them is on Deuteronomy 8:18. It says, "But remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability yes. to produce yes. wealth, and so confirms yes. His covenant, which He swore to your ancestors, as it is today. Today is now." The other one is in Numbers 23. 20, yeah. uh, 20 says, "I have received a command to bless." He has blessed, and I cannot change it. And God wants to bless right now. And in, in 19, it says, God is not a human that he should change, should lie, nor a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? That's why you have to believe that God's going to do this. Yes. Because it's out of his word. Yes. And God's going to give you, we're going to pray for creative ideas. Yes. We're going to pray for God to give you acceleration. Yeah. For your business, and just like those Jesus. those people in Hollywood said, they said, "Will you pray for our minds that God will give us brilliant minds?" <laughs> Everyone, God. stretch your hand towards these businesses. Praise Everyone, let's all hook up together. This will be God. Come on. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we lift up these businesses to yes. you, every one yes. of them. Yes. Even my yes. businesses, I lift them yes. up to Teddy's business. Yes. We lift them all up to you according yes. to your word, God. Lord, you said that we would come here, that I would come here. You, you asked me to bless their businesses, God, to believe you that you would prosper them, God. And I pray for every one of us here, Lord, that we prosper spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. Yes. And be blessed financially, God. Yes. And Lord, I pray as they pray, as you bless them, that they pray in their heart who you want them to send seed to, God. Yes. Yes. I pray they will be faithful yes. in putting the seed in the ground, Amen. God. Yes. And Father, we give you all the glory. All the glory. We give you all the honor, yes. God. Yes. We thank, thank you, Lord. Father. You did, we seal this by the blood of the Lamb <laughs> in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Scripture came to my mind was where the Lord said, "These blessings shall come upon me and overtake you." There you go. That's Hallelujah. We Praise receive God. it in Jesus' name, don't we? Praise we receive God. it, and it's you know, and it's not to it's not to like you said, it's not to uh, um, uh, you know uh, uh, consume upon our own our own lust. It's not it's not to build our own selfishness. It's that we can be a greater blessing. Amen. 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 I, I, I was I was just talking to a guy that that takes care of my yard, and and uh, every couple of weeks they come in and take care of the the uh, up up you know uh, mowing mowing and everything. And um, we were talking about increase and 
you know, he was asking me about business and this and that, you know, and his business. But we had a real good conversation. He said, well, you know, he said, my, my family's eating. He said, our bills are paid. And I said, well, hey, you know, you got, you got, you got, God's taking care of all your needs. It's, everything's, everything's being met. And, and we just said, you know, praise the Lord. I, I says, you know, that's, that's where I'm at too. I would like a little more. Though. I, want to be a, I want to be a greater blessing to the body of Christ. But you know what? Hey, we're not going to take it with us. That's right. That's right. And, um, you know, uh, but we want more to give. Yes. And, you know, yes. God, God make us a greater blessing. Increase Amen. us that we can, can prosper the the, oh, the, the kingdom of God. That's, I mean, what else is there? You, you're not going to eat it. You can't take it with you. You can only wear so many clothes. I hear you know? God saying, I hear God say, uh, well, uh, plant a seed and grow a tree. Plant Amen. a seed and grow a tree. Lord Remember, a lot God. Of you got to think of the tree. Yeah. It's flourishing. God don't raise a dead tree. He flourishes. That's he right. The tree that's flourished. And trees bring oxygen. Bring trees uh, feed people, whatever's on that yes. tree. Uh, trees feed animals. Yes. And all that. There's your bird starving, man. He's got yeah. to the bird to survive. That's and right. it's the same thing. I'm telling you, we're in an hour. God wants to bless the body of Christ. Praise Big God. Time. Thank but you, anyway, Jesus. I need you guys to pray. i got to get out this door. Okay. I'm not going to have time to eat. i got to get go all the way to Morgan and shoot the Palo Alto. But I enjoyed myself with you guys. God Lord, bless everyone. Thank, thank you. you. you know, Pastor Teddy's here. You know. Can we can we all can we all just point your hands? Yeah, yeah. Right? I'll take that prayer before I go. We love yeah. this brother. Lord, we really love this brother. And it's always such a it's 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 just I can't express what it means when he comes and shares with us and uh, and let's let's uh, let's just believe God to just multiply and increase his his ministry just many yes. many many times yes. many yes. many fold. Yes. Okay, yes. this is just just. Father, we just thank you for the Son of God, our Lord God, Hallelujah. and, and, thank and you, the Jesus. precious and awesome call upon his life. Bless, bless his family. You yes. said, you said how to, to bless his feet, Father. Yes. I, I just, I just lay hands symbolically yes. for the rest of this chapter, Father. Bless yes. his feet, Lord. Jesus. How blessed are the feet of them that bring the good news. Yes. Good news of peace and glad tidings. And the victory, Hallelujah! Yes, and, Lord. And just uh, multiply uh, the seed sown, Lord God, and everywhere He goes, uh, prosperity and Praise increase Jesus. for the kingdom of God. Power to rest upon the Lord as thank He speaks Your word forth. We just yeah. thank You, Lord thank you, God. Jesus. Multiply yeah. it many times over through yes. His labor. Thank You, Lord. We agree. Bless we agree. His family, yeah. His wife, children. Yeah. Ministry and all these precious men of God that surround him, Lord God, that Thank he's you, raising Lord. up. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. I want to bless you for my back. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jesus.